When I think about seasonal affective disorder and kind of the nature of it, it's telling us that a person is more likely to experience depression in a certain time of the year. What I think is really important about having this diagnosis of seasonal affective disorder is that it can tell us we can prevent it. If we know that we're more prone to experiencing depression within the winter months, it's better to get a head start on things if we know that this is the type of pattern that we might fall into. So in terms of getting help for it, I'd say as early as possible. If your mood dips several days in a row and it turns into two weeks in a row or more, that would be a signal to get connected. Seasonal affective disorder is a really important term for clinicians and for the general population as well because it tells us something really important about the pattern of depression for a particular person. If a person is more likely to experience depression within the winter months, we have an idea of maybe how to prevent that from happening or at least taking a full-blown course. Low mood depression is a normal experience for people to have. It's a normal experience to different types of life events that happen. But when you notice that mood persisting at this lowered state for at least two weeks in a row, that might be a signal to get help in whatever capacity. Either talking to your doctor about antidepressant or a light box, for example, or getting connected with a therapist.